Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. Can the Prime Minister confirm that after Senator Mackenzie wrote to him about sports rorts on the 10th of April, the day before the election was called, his office requested changes to the list determining which projects were funded and which projects missed out? The Prime Minister has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'll confirm as I always have on this matter, and that was my office provided information based on the rec representations made to us, including information about other funding options or programs relevant to project proposals. Thanks, Mr Speaker. My question is again to the Prime Minister. How can the Prime Minister claim he simply passed on information on the corrupt sports rort scheme when the Audit Office told Parliament last night the list of sports rorts projects was changed after the election was called, and I quote the audit office here, quote them, at the request of the Prime Minister's office. Members on my left, the Prime Minister has the call. Mr Speaker, I simply say again, as I have said, Mr Speaker, in this House before and going back to my press club address earlier in the year, what my office did was very straightforward. They passed on information based on the representations made to us, and that included information about other funding options or programs relevant to project proposals. Mr. Speaker, that statement is completely consistent with all, the, all of the matters that have come before this, this House and in other places. 